Hey guys, it's your boy Grandma Gears, and today I'm having a little bit of a rant about my football team I support, which is uh, QPR. And at the moment we're in the championship, or well, we've been there for a few years now, um, but we've had two games at the beginning of the season, and they've just been terrible. Um, first game of the season we played Preston away, we lost 1-0, they had possession the whole game. Um... We played again yesterday against Sheffield United. We were one nil up at home, and they came back to win it, to win two one. Um, and it's just f so frustrating because we've we always change a manager. We had we've got Steve McLaren now, who in the past yes he was a good manager. He managed England, did a terrible job. He was a manager of Derby, never really got him going. Um, so he's came, he's came to QPR because QPR sat Ian Holloway, which was just a terrible move. Because um, Ian Holloway, yes, we didn't finish very high. I think we finished 13th last season. But it was bringing like, young players through the squad and doing the best he could. And I don't know why we decided to sack him. But my big rant is about yesterday's performance. So we play at Loftus Rose in London, uh, first home game of the season. And if you've never been to Loftus Rose before, it's a very small ground and you can literally touch your players. The ground is so small and so compact and it make, generates such a loud noise. So any away fans or any away team coming there, it's quite a Dalton prospect because it kind of get a bit leery in there. But, no, first game of the season, we had a good line-up. Um, usual people starting. Um, probably, I think it was the 20th minute, Easy, who's had a great beginning of the season, come from the youth youth squad, scored an absolute banger from outside of the pit, outside of the box, box to give us a 1-0 lead. But after that, and we looked really threatening on the ball the first half. We looked really good. Um, Sheffield United did get a nice little goal at the end of the first half to equalise. Um, and the second half, we just weren't there. We just could not be bothered. Like, we didn't want it enough. And then Sheffield United got a penalty and won the game. But the annoying thing is, like, we got the transfer ban for January... And we didn't make any signings this season, apart from one free transfer. Um, we let one player go, our goalkeeper. But we haven't brought any people in, really. We need a new striker, that's for sure. Um, because we start look threatening up top. Apart from easy on the ball, we do not look threatening. Our back four OK, but we've got a very young right back called KK. Um, because Furlong got injured, our starting right back. Um, and we've got Big Tony, who we signed from a league, t I think it's Union Berlin, basically a League 2 uh, Bun Bundesliga team. Um, and he's good, like, he's, an, he's a bit of an older player, but he's solid as a rock. Um, and he's our captain, he's good. But, I don't know, maybe we just need a couple more games to get, like, to get to know, like come solid but at the moment we're playing absolutely awful we just can't make passes we can't like retain possession for longer than five minutes like when we do get the pitch and like when we do get the ball up in their pitch their side of the pitch we don't do anything with it like we'll lob up there and hopefully Matt Smith will nod one in or easy or dribble on and try and get into the box but it's just woeful. It was just nothing happening. And I really think we're going to struggle this season. And I honestly think we're going to have to be a relegation battle. It's, we're not going to finish mid-table. We've got, we've got no chance of trying to gain promotion this year. It's literally going to be a grind not to get relegated from the championship. And that would destroy QPR because we've got a lot of fines and everything at the moment so if we go down the league again the club could get liquidised we're going to have to get new owners 
and it would be a shame because I can't, if we get relegated, I cannot see us jumping back and getting back into the championship for at least another four years. I just don't think we'd have a back behind us. So we really need to do something and it's just shocking. If we don't win next game, I think next game's I think next game's Preston. I think it's Preston away. And we've really got to do something about it because if we don't, it's more looking more and more likely we're not going to be staying up this season. And that is gutting because QPR got such a good history. We won a Prem a few years ago and we had amazing players. But we just ran out of money. Things didn't go our way. A bit unlucky. And this season, I think we're going to be fighting for relegation, really. And I think we're going to be kind of lucky to stay up the way we're playing at the moment. So, it's just frustrating. But I really hope we turn things around next game. And at least we get a draw, get some points on the board. Because otherwise, we're going to lose all momentum at the beginning of the season. But, it's your boy, Grandma Gears. And I'm out. See ya.